In this segment, we will demonstrate how to utilize the library databases at Holly Library. From the library page, you'll notice that library databases is already highlighted, and off to the side is a listing of different databases that we have. We advise that you look through each one and see what they contain. To read about them, click on the button on the left-hand side of each database, and down below it will give you a description of each one. It is good to explore and see everything that we have available. For this demonstration, we will go into the most widely used database at Endicott College, which is EBSCO. So to go into the database, you click on Visit, And the main reason why EBSCO is so popular here at Endicott is that it has within many different databases. If you scroll down, you'll see them. Again, it's good for you to explore and see what everything contains. When you use EBSCO, go through and see what these databases have. But when you conduct a search, think about your search topic. Let's say we're looking for information on ADHD. You want to go through these databases and select the ones that most clearly align with what you're looking for. So for example, if we're looking for ADHD research, you'd probably want to keep the academic, these two da academic databases selected. As you scroll down, there's a business source complete, which you probably won't need, so you deselect that. CINAHL is a nursing database, you probably want to keep that. Communications, there might be something within that topic that has information on ADHD. Keep in mind, once you select these, you can always go back and deselect ones. Say we kept communications clicked on and you conducted a search on ADHD, if you find that you're finding a lot of different search results that come up about the media that you don't want, you can always go back and deselect it. EconLit as an economics database, take that off. These three are educational databases, you'd probably want to keep them. Green File, it's about the environment, so you'd probably want to take that off. It's a hospitality one, so you go through and select or deselect accordingly. Okay, that's for mostly for English majors. Um, humanities majors. Okay, then you click continue. And then in your search box you don't want to do something like you would in Google. You don't want to put in something like what is ADHD. Rather you want to put in the major key terms that you're looking for. So we'll just put in ADHD and you can put any other generalizations that you might want to look for. Say you'd want to look for gender see if there are any differences in gender or any other topics that might go along with ADHD that you're researching. We always recommend that you keep a list nearby where you can write down different synonyms and try them out in different searches. So you just click on search here. Okay, and then off to the side you'll want to decide whether to click on full text and or scholarly. Full text will make all of the articles that appear be in full text. Some of these articles don't come up as full text. They appear as abstracts that are listed, such as this one. And in the segment called Journal Titles, you'll learn about how to find articles that aren't coming up full text. But for the purposes of this research, let's click on Full Text. And Scholarly or peer-reviewed, please discuss this with your professor. Scholarly or peer-reviewed means it will select only articles that are at a collegiate level. Scholarly means that they're usually staffed or edited by people who are experts in the field. For example, if you have a nursing journal, there are probably people who are experts such as nurses or doctors on the panel that select for that specific database or journal. 
and it's more selective. It doesn't have glossy pictures in them. There are different citations that they allude to at the end of the articles. So ask your professor if you're doing research whether you need scholarly or peer-reviewed type journals. And then click on that if you do. You can also move the date bar over here. So if you need articles from say 2009 to 2014 it will do that for you. Then you can look through. When you find an article you're interested in, click on it. Read the abstract. If it's something that you're, you want to read further, click on PDF, full text, and it will open the article for you. You can also email ar an article to yourself, print it. You can also look at different citation information here. Um, with that, always check with your professor to see what type of citations they require. And also, it, it's wise to go to the Writing Center to have your information looked over before you hand in any research. That's the basics of the databases. Again, look through, investigate the different ones that are available, and try different searches out. And always remember that the Reference Desk can always help you out with any research that you might be having a struggle with. Thank you.